So today we are working on the beginning parts of the Sakura Hime cosplay for my smart dolls. Most of the stuff will be applique onto essentially white, creamy white bases. And of course we brought in some tan for the slippers. I got my little kit that I assembled on Monday. Let's open it up and pull up the stuff that I need. I've already gone ahead and labeled what materials for what. So now we just have to see about cutting out. So we're starting with the pants. They're among the easiest of the things to do, especially since they are not double layered. Right now I'm in the midst of fitting the cut out pants that I've already sewn up the side seams just to make sure that things will fit properly from the crotch to the waist and I know how much fabric I'll have at the waistline in order to create a channel for the elastic band. Now that I've test fit on the doll I go ahead and start Assembling the crotch seam, spreading out the seams, and of course laying things down in order to create the channel for the elastic. Now that the pants are done, I'm on to actually creating the skirt and the tops. I'll be making them double layered, so I'm folding up my fabric appropriately and had taken measurements of how long I need it from the waist down to the ankle, which is about uh, 17 centimeters. I included a bit more for uh, the waist area as well as a seam allowance. I'm cutting both layers at the same time. I'm also cutting out the section that will be the front panel because the skirt actually does not wrap around the whole thing. I'm carrying out the design, making sure that the step pyramid motif actually reflects in the entire piece. At this point, I'm double checking the wrap skirt, making sure it doesn't go all the way around the body and actually leaves a bit of a gap for the front panel. I'm trimming those away from both layers as well as trimming out different sections to see if the excess will be well worth it to make a shirt out of. I found that towards the edges the actual shirt portion worked out better. So I cut out the first layer 
cutting half of it and then mirror it onto the other side, cutting both of the hairs the rest away at the same time. So I've now got my liner as well as my top piece that will apply all the applique portions to. And then it's on to actually sewing the pieces. I take up my time doing the sewing on the actual shirt because I need to make sure that what I've Envision actually fits the doll before I put on any applique portions. Now we're on to the applique. I pre-sewed on a gold trim so that I could actually insert the red band into the position on the skirt. And I'll be actually cutting out sections of this ribbon that had some hooks on it. So it's just Christmas ribbon. But I'm making sure it's cut into sections, cutting out the hooks and then notched so that it'll actually go around the curve of the skirt. And then I'll go about pinning things into place. I don't need to worry about actually the notches or the uh, parts because those will be cut up with more applique portions to create the vertical sections. Now that we've got all the horizontal sections in place and so on, I have to actually make sure that the vertical sections are cut and actually test it out to check out my theory. Make sure that they're actually long enough. And then I proceed cutting out the number of sections for the verticals that will cover up the gaps and I cut out about 20 to 25 pieces just to get around the skirt. Of course after that it was on to applique for the shirt as well.
Okay, we're just wrapping up all the verticals, making sure I have what I need. And I'm not worrying about the hooks because those will actually be hidden underneath the gold trim. So I'm putting those aside and I'll eventually go about paying all of those pieces into place. But now I'm in the midst of actually grabbing all the stuff that I need to do the front panel of the skirt, making sure that it has the black, has the red bit in the actual designs located on the actual image, making sure that I don't do the same problem as my previous template where I actually did the wrong front panel. So now that I've got all my pieces cut out, and I'm in the midst of measuring out the applique portions for the shoes, the front panel, the shirt, and making sure that everything works out just right. Okay, with all the applique portions in place, including on the shirt with its gold and black trim, I'm in the process now of decorating the rest of the bits with gems. And I've selected what I wanted, pre-testing everything so that they'll actually fit in place, and then hot gluing them with some Gorilla hot glue so this will hold really well and will allow me to proceed quite quickly. For some of the gems they will also be surrounded by gold puffy paint in order to get that dimension. And now we're on to the final bits, the coins. This whole project took about 200 coins, close to 100 gems, and about two months to actually complete. Then I actually finished off the whole project by digging into my jewelry and pulling out some rings to serve as bracelets and an anklet. So, if you want to see things live, tune in to my Twitch stream on Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now that the project's near completion, let's check it out in the showcase. <laughs> 